Hi everyone, so we're at the Buckland Hills Mall in Manchester, Connecticut. So the shops at Buckland Hills, formerly commonly known as Buckland Hills Mall, is a shopping mall located in Manchester, Connecticut, and it's currently owned by the Spencer Real Estate Group. The mall is currently anchored by traditional chains, Macy's, JCPenney, Bob Stores, and Barnes & Noble, while featuring the prominent traditional brands Aeropostale, Charlotte Ruse, Express, Forever 21, H&M, Build-A-Bear, Newberry Commons, and Windsor. The shops at Buckland Hills is located off I-84 near the intersection of I-291. So, um, to me, I wouldn't say this mall is, like, dead, really. I'd say, um, it's, like, in between, like, half, like, dead, half, like, kind of okay, I guess. Like, I wouldn't say it's, like, 100% dead, but I'd say it's, like, kind of, like, in between, kind of. So... The John Fig Unera with his business partner Richard Ripps planned the mall in 1972. Fig Unera worked for JC Penney, which had at the time had a 200,000 square foot warehouse nearby, once used for their now Dean Fung Cadillac business. Fig Unera's familiarity with economic factors led to him to believe the original mall would be successful. The location selected for the mall was elevated and overlooked by a valley and was close to an interstate highway which would be enable traffic flow to the mall and future developments in the corridor. The mall opened in 1990. It was called the Pavilions at Buckland. The mall was successful and new businesses surrounded the, the area developed. The multi-million dollar renov renovation and expansion of the mall was completed in October 2003. And the name was changed first to Buckland Hills Mall and then the shops at Buckland Hills. The main business in the area, um, one, um, 1,000... 82 708 square feet on two floors however the name buckland hills mall can informally refer to the mall plus cluster of surrounding retail stores hotels and restaurants on the hill nearly six um, million square feet or four and a half mile one and four square mile there are approximately 140 shop, 45 shops and eateries in the mall, as well as four anchor stores, including Macy's, originally G. Fox, later Filene's, Macy's Men's, Children's, Juniors, and Furniture, originally Steiger's, later Lord & Taylor, then Filene's Men's, Children's, Juniors, and Furniture, J.C. Penney, which opened in 1992 in Barnes & Noble with two big canakers last occupied by Dick Sporting Goods, originally Sage Allen, and Sears in 2000, and Sears in 2006. Newberry Comics opened its first Connecticut store in the mall. There was a D&L department store below the food court which later became Filene's Men's Store, is now various in re restaurants. On April 17, 2018, the Bertucci's closed as part of their Chapter 11 bankruptcy proceeded. In the early 2020s, um, some multiple traditions mall anchors update their brick motor fleets being disrupted by digital retailers in recent years. On November 13th, 2020, it was announced that Sears would shutter as part of an ongoing phase out of brick and mortar. Potential replacement tenants have been rumored in decision in 2021. In 
April 2021, Dick's Sporting Goods tra- Tradition into a store nearby, which we constructed to feature Bob Stores, Eastern Mountain Sports. Bob Stores opened on November 23rd, 2022, which Eastern Mountain Sports is expected to open in spring 2023. In 2021, Crab Dujor Restaurant opened, however, a year later, on October 21st, 2022, the restaurant permanently closed. So, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe for more and put the post notifications on. Bye everyone and have a wonderful day. <laughs>